CAD programs allow you to create designs on the computer before you ever create a physical model. Digital information and IT also allows us to track information and one of the most interesting advances in that is what we call RFID or radio frequency identification. And that's really something that's coming upon the market in a big way today. We all know the ability to drive our car through a toll booth and have an RFID device which automatically captures uh, the identity of that car and then charges the toll to a monthly bill that they send you. But increasingly, the retail market is using this capability. Very inexpensive RFID trackers that can wirelessly and instantly and automatically capture all of the information about a series of devices put in front of it. And what this is doing is in fact bringing fresh innovation to tr tr traditional industries like manufacturing, like retail. You've got some local solution providers in this area. Persistent Systems is one. I especially like Persistent Systems because it's one of the companies that Intel has invested in here in India. And what I'd like to do is to ha tell you a little bit more about RFID technology and solutions and invite uh, Dr. Anand Dispensley out. He's founder and chairman of Persistent Systems. Welcome, sir. How are you? Good evening, Craig. Good. Can you uh, perhaps just tell the audience a little bit about RFID, what your company is doing, and how it works? Sure. Um, today we are going to show you a demo uh, to tell you what we've been doing in RFID. And I'm going to show you a demo of the system called Pines, which we have built. The Pine system is a middleware that connects the RFID tags and the computer and the application that we have built. And uh, this particular demo that we are going to show you is uh, from a pilot that we are doing for Ashok Leyland, which is a big uh, truck and uh, bus manufacturing company. Um, so let me first show you uh, what these tags look like. So these are uh, uh, RFID tags. Um, there's a small chip on them. But beyond that, there is an antenna, and each uh, tag has a separate and a unique identification. There are different kinds of tags available. So this is one. This is another one that is used for tracking animals. And depending on how far you are, you can get different kinds of range in these kinds of tags. And here is another tag like this. Uh, in addition to these tags, you also have uh, different kinds of readers. So here we are going to use this particular reader, which is a uh, flat bed reader and that makes it very convenient to read and here's another reader. And so you have all kinds of readers and small different kinds of tags. So I'm going to quickly show you uh, the demo that we are going to use uh, from the parts that we have from Ashok Leyland which is, you know, so here uh, when we run this close to the reader, uh, it scans it and you can see the uh, parts that are getting picked up. As you can see, it's uh, very easy to implement and uh, did, you you have the, to did you bring the entire car in today or we just well, we wish we could have pieces of it? We just got some pieces. Yeah, okay, good. It's kind of hard to get it from Chennai and from Pune. Yeah, all right. But as you notice, you don't, with this kind of a flatbed configuration on the assembly line, you don't really need to be very close to it and even from a distance you can actually see the part going through. Automatically captures the tag ID number, the yes. item name, the description, and puts a timestamp on it. Absolutely. Let me show you another uh, sort of example here. We have this uh, so simulation of a component. So one of the things that uh, Ashok Leland wants to do is to tag these such that you can identify if they have misplaced a component or the wrong component got installed or any of those things. Now if you see this one, we will put it right on the reader and all of a sudden all of these tags get read together. So you don't have to scan each one separately and all of them come in together. That's a little bit like if you went into a grocery store and every item in the grocery store was tagged, you put them all in your basket and you just walked out yeah, and absolutely. would capture all that information at once. Correct. So you don't need to put any, uh, so you know exactly what you're taking and if you have actually paid for all the items. So if there is any wrong item or something, you can automatically see that. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah. Did you put right, something? You know, I've got a wrong item here. <laughs> so I guess you are too close to our reader there. Oh. Right away. So even from a distance of about a meter or so, we can track the thing. 
It seems you uh, we were told that you went to Nehru place today and did some uh, shopping and picked up some, you know, went to visit your dealers. Let's see if they are using RFIDs, you know. So it does seem, yeah. I guess your Ethernet adapter seems to be out. You seem to have bought one here. Yeah. I'm trapped. <laughs> <laughs> can't get away with anything these days. <laughs> well, there are ways to use this technology besides just this sort of uh, physical goods at one spot, aren't there? Yes, absolutely. So this is a very uh, nice and easy to use technology. It seems complex, but it is actually very simple to implement. It extends existing applications and there are new ones possible. Uh, this can be used in various industries as well. And uh, one of the things that Ashok Leyland wants to do is to tag buses with this so that the straight transport uh, buses that they sell will have RFID tags on it and you can actually make out if uh, the bus is late or any of those kinds of things. So the applications on this are numerous. The technology is available, economically viable, and already ready to use in the country. And I think it can be deployed very easily. Well, thank you, Anand. I, and I can't let you go without saying, now that Intel is an investor in your company, I want you to work hard and be successful, right? <laughs> thank you. All right. You're doing our best.